Well, it's nice to sit down with you, Robin, and be here in Orlando as preseason is really wrapping up. But the crazy thing is to me, like, you're entering your fourth full season with the Rapids. Does that seem real? Like, does it seem like it's gone by quickly? It seems like it's gone by quickly. Hi, Jordan. Hi, nice good to see, to see you. you. As well. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems like it's gone by quickly. When I look back, uh, the years are all so distinctly different. 19, I came in at the end of the year. We had a really good run. It was a great start for the team. Um, a lot of buy-in. The players were really good. And we come from nowhere that year to just missing the playoffs. 20, we started off well and then took three months off for COVID. Uh, but then kind of found our way through the year, made it to the playoffs. And you look at that, that whole year is just kind of a blur. And then 21 was a fantastic year for us. And uh, last year was disappointing. So it seems like it's flown by, but each year is so distinctly different that they're, they, they're, they're each their own entity in my mind. And when you think about you as a coach, do you feel like there's been an area that you have found the most growth in these last few years? Um, probably adaptability. Uh, you have certain ideas as to how you want to coach and what you want, what you want looks like and through limitations of players availability of players injuries that sort of thing you have to adapt and you find different ways in fact um, you know we played in a couple of different formations and the principles never change but the formations do which make things slightly different and the ability to recognize times to play in this shape or that shape or just, uh, it's like everything else, experience I think makes you better. Yeah, we've now gotten that under your belt for a few years. We are really wrapping up what's been a long preseason away from home. Two big stops, one in Mexico, one here in Orlando. What do you think was the biggest takeaway from that Mexico portion of preseason? And then what have you liked about what you've seen here in Orlando? Probably the biggest takeaway from Mexico was that we wanted to modify behaviors. Mexico was very much about that. It was that, it was the physical side of it. Uh, our setup in Mexico was great. And it was really good. It was really good from a physical point, really good from a psychological point, really good for the team getting together. And in Mexico, we played three Mexican teams right. that were all slightly different in how they played. And I love the fact that it just made us have to come up with solutions for different problems. Uh, so I think in that sense, it was really a good growth experience. And then now we're here and we're getting closer to the stadium or to the season opening. We start to really hammer down details and now we're playing teams that play in our league. So all of this has been really good for growth. I think the team has really adapted to what's being asked of them. And in little snippets throughout preseason, we get to see growth based on the games that we play and how we handle them. So it's been good to this point, uh, really good. And I feel like we're really close to where we want to be. And I think the preseason has gone pretty much exactly as we would like it to have gone. Um, and pretty soon the proof will be in the pudding, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's got to feel good. And as you're watching the team and them come together, sometimes that's half the battle too, is bringing everybody in and keeping everybody in the same place to, to really come together as a unit. But you're seeing people start to stick out. Is there anybody that's stuck out on a, a level that might have that might have surprised you or be someone that fans are going to be intrigued to see more of? Uh, throughout preseason, guys have had their ups and downs, and guys have had really good moments, followed by so-so, and it's really been a lot of that. But I think Diego has kind of picked up where he left off. He's been. Uh, extremely instrumental in, in our attack, uh, whether it's him coming off the line and linking or whether him being in the final action. He's been extremely dangerous, uh, extremely motivated. Uh, I think I think both Mikey, Barrios and Sam have had very good preseasons, worked extremely hard and they've been effective. And I'm trying to think who else. There's been a number of guys who have played well mm -hmm. in terms of like standing way out. Um, I could say the whole group. And when you look at a lot of these players that have either brought, been brought into the team or some of them coming back from some pretty big injuries, that's bringing the average age of those that group of players about 22 and a half. Like it's making this team significantly younger. Um, how, how do you feel like that's going to help this squad, especially with the demands of playing where you play every week, which is at altitude and a really difficult place to play? I mean, that's exactly 
what we're trying to do is get a group of players who are competing and competing at altitude week in, week out. Uh, we certainly feel like that gives us an advantage at home, but more importantly, it's, it's uh, having this group of players really fighting every single day to get into a starting lineup. And there are times when guys are going to play well and don't start because everybody else is playing well. Mm -hmm. And if we're in that situation, we're in a really the dream situation for us. And a team that is comprised the way our team is, we don't have any $18 million players and things along those lines. And we really, really value team. We value uh, respect for each other, working hard for each other. Where we are right now is a group of players I'm really excited about because they work hard, they're respectful of each other, they, they compete and battle every single day, and they've been great teammates to each other uh, when they're not playing. Pretty good foundation to work off of. It definitely is, and it's the kind of team that I would want. It reminds me a lot of the team in 21. Uh, it reminds me of the team when I came in, because when I came in, there were a number of guys who'd been here for a number of years, and uh, I still remember my first practice ever. At the end of practice, I looked at Paul, and I go, this isn't a last place team. The characters are too good. They work too hard. They work well together. And uh, I look at this group and it's certainly a slightly newer group and more new faces have been brought in. And Galvan coming back from injury is like getting a brand new player. Cole coming back from Europe is like getting a brand new player. Jack being healthy is like getting a brand new player. He missed so much last year. So we're really excited about uh, the depth of the squad, the character of the squad. And we feel like through the level of competition that we now have, that we should be effective week in, week out.